Captain Josh Howard here, Deep South Georgia, Venice, Louisiana. We out here. Uh, we're about 75 miles south of Venice, Louisiana here. And uh, the water yesterday was really rough. We had a tough day. Uh, couldn't really get on the bait that they wanted. And uh, we had pogies and stuff, and it just wasn't happening for us. We had, uh, I think we went three for four on yellowfin. Uh, today, in the same exact spot, they want to eat a little bit today. Cut the seas, lay down, calm. We got, uh, got some guys here. Uh, I know Jeff here is from, from Dental Springs. He got his, his guys here. What's your name? Bubba from Sale. Bubba. Bubba brings a lot of drinks and stuff. He goes <laughs> uh, he got a lot of drinks. He's not going to go thirsty. <laughs> it, it, it's been good. We've got some more than that in the, in the box. And uh, we we out here, we, we fishing um, pretty much with all 60 and 80 pound fluorocarbon. It hadn't seemed to be any difference. Uh, we Like I say, we use the pre Premier uh, Cigar and you can get away with, with using 80 sometimes when you have to use 60. So I don't know if they would eat regular 80. They probably would. They seem to be pretty aggressive today. We're throwing out, you know, a few extra baits when we're when sending baits back and we're getting the fish worked up in a frenzy. Uh, I mean, we tried all that yesterday. It just wasn't happening. So it's not every day you're going to get them, but uh, you, you get in blue water, you find some, some fish moving around, you mark some fish on the screen, and uh, you fish the upcurrent side, and you should be able to get something going if, if they're in the area. Sometimes you can use some topwater poppers. If you see them busting around, you just try to throw right there on, on top of the fish when they're, when they're busting. Um, we have live bait today, but again, if we didn't have live bait, we'd be cutting. I've got some bonita and some uh, barracuda in the box. You ever catch any of that stuff, you tuna fish and just keep it. The tuna eat anything. You cut it into, into small chunks, you cut it, take the skin off of it. They'll eat it with the skin on most of the time, but it's just a little bit better presentation. We'll cut a little, little slit in the meat, slide that hook in there, and send it down. Don't let it get tight. Send it out, send it out, send it out, two or three hundred feet, sometimes even farther. Fish hits it, you just lock the reel up to strike get pressure on it it'll, it'll set that hook uh, right now we'll start seeing live bait uh, I think I mentioned we'll start seeing them at the uh, drill ships first we're starting to see a little bit of hardtails the drill ship not a whole lot everywhere else right now but we, we start to see a few of the drill ship you can get hardtails number six number eight sabiki um, you can still catch pogies out of some of the passes you see pelicans diving on them throw a cast net on them and, and, and get that and you can throw a bunch of those out and get the fish working fish the upcurrent side should be good to go